not even gonna lie to y'all. Yo, look, your boy, your boy got the same clothes on from yesterday. Yes, this is the PJs, you know what I'm saying? So don't get on me, you feel me? Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. I'm not in the same day. This is day three of 2022. I'm not gonna keep saying that every single day, but I just feel like, bruh, the, the year already starting off great. You feel me? The year already starting off great. You can't complain, you know what I'm saying? And yes, once again, I'm reacting to Black Conservative Perspective, bro. I promise you, this is my last time reacting to this, man. Simply because I don't want to keep reacting to another person that's like, kind of, like, we do the same thing, you feel me? We do the same thing. We have the same viewpoint. So it's just like, I don't want to keep reacting to him. But I seen this interesting video on my feed, so I was like, okay, I got to watch this, you feel me? And I got to watch it with the gang, you know what I'm saying? So look. This is man gets berated and kicked out of dollar store for pulling down masks to smell candles. Now, first off, the one, the title that got me was for pulling down masks to smell candles. I mean, that's common sense. You feel me? Like you can't smell the candle through your mask. You feel? But look, we finna go ahead and get into it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go, man. Hold on, wrong way, wrong way, baby. <laughs> let's go, man. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a video that has gone viral on social media. That is just another example of how the world has gone mad over these mandates. Um, and it is <laughs> driving a lot of division out of society. And it's something I really hate to see. Um, but this time we have a man who was in a store. Um, Shout out to Black Conservative Perspective. You know what I'm saying? I might, I might steal the title. I'm not gonna lie, cause the title was the title lit. I might just change a little word, but my ass is on the thing. You know what I'm saying? And he was smelling a candle, right? And I'm assuming that the store has a mask mandate, and he uh, takes down his uh, mask to try to smell uh, the candle, and he starts getting berated by the employees in the store, and. Uh, gets kicked out of the store for essentially pulling down his mask. Take a look. All right, so I'm at the store trying to shop right now. No pictures in the store, please. Oh, it's not a picture, it's a video. Sir, you would not keep your mask up. Now it is up for the video. No, no, please, here. Please leave the store. I was trying to smell these candles here to shop at uh, Dollarama here. Dollar as I what? pull my mask down to smell. Dollar what? Dollarama? What the, what the heck is that? I heard a Dollar Tree and Dollar General. What the heck is a Dollar Rama? I ain't never heard no store like that, my boy. You must be somewhere else. Your mask up! And now I have another guy. Wait, what? As I pull my mask down to smell. Your mask up! And now I have another guy yelling at me over here. Oh, oh, <laughs> hell, oh, hell no. Oh, no, we scrapping after that. No, I'm sorry, cuz, look. You yelling at me to pull my mask up because I'm about to smell a candle? Oh, yeah, look. You better hope, man, the Holy Spirit got to calm me down because I promise you, I'm, don't yell at me to tell me to put my mask up. I'm a grown man just like you a grown man. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You just don't do that, bro. It's a respect matter. You feel me? I'm trying to pull my mask down to smell a candle. You want to yell across the stove, pull your mask up. I'm like, get your, bro, who peed in your cereal? Did your wife leave you? Like, what? what's going on this morning? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> man. And now I have another guy yelling at me over here to put my mask up <laughs> unbelievable man i will literally never come back here again you guys are outrageous man i've never had such a terrible experience in my life here let me just show this gentleman's face for the camera here and this guy too get out get out yelling at me it's, it's no loss to the store <sighs> why are you, sure? please, why please, are you attacking me too i don't well, understand i won't be shopping here anymore yeah that's really aggressive like man this. jesus please leave the store. that's so insane man please leave the store, sir. <laughs> oh i just want to make sure that everybody sees how aggressive you guys are being here. please leave the store okay the there's no need up. to talk to people like it's that it's really rude you There's know? no need to bring that mask down. I literally was trying to smell a Sir, candle. You were in your to him, staff, and then you were abusive to me. Your That's staff it. started you are being shouting at me. Actually, and so is your staff literally. screaming at him. We need to what leave? He's got a mask on. What's he it? He was not keeping it on. I was That's trying to smell a candle. candle. The can mask stays on at all times. How do 100%. I smell a candle? You have to just do the well, best you, should, you can. You should probably take the candles out of the store then. Well, that's the tendency with candles is to smell them, isn't it? It is not there. We do the store. But I will gladly never come back to your store. Me either. That's disgusting behavior. Yeah. Okay. 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 Alright guys, so this very silly and sad incident that seems to take... Okay, look. 
I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. I want to get my I want to get my point across. You feel me? Like we we go hear his too, but I just want to get my point be, before y'all even say you know I'm saying that I watched this already because I did it. But look, my whole thing is first off it first off he pulled down his mask to smell a candle. Now I understand that it could be a mandate. You feel me? It could be. It, it is a mandate. You know what I'm saying? You know, keeping your mask up is a mandate. You feel me? But it's just, bro. If I if I have to smell something, you know what I'm saying? You're selling candles. I want to make sure this candle smell good for my house. You feel me? I'm you know I'm not finna try to sniff it through the mask. It ain't gonna work. You feel me? It ain't gonna work. So if I pull it down just for a quick second, nobody's around me. You know what I'm saying? Like you acting like it's a whole bunch of people around me right now. Nobody's in this aisle. I'm just trying to smell a candle. Simple as that. You going you going outrageous for what reason? I don't know. I understand it could be, it is a mandate, but at the same time, think about it like this. Do you have your mask on all the time when you with your family members or when you're eating dinner with your family? Did you have your mask on all the time during New Year's Eve? Like, you just got to think about that. You feel me? Like, a lot of people don't, they don't put their mask on around, they only put their mask on around strangers when they go out in public. But you got to think about, it. are you having your mask on 24-7 when you're with your family? Because at the end of the day, they can bring something in that you might not know about. They can have a mask off around somebody randomly at work or something, and they could catch it, and now they're bringing it to you because you're thinking they're safe because they're your family. You feel me? You see what I'm trying to say? Not all of us have our mask on 24-7 around our family. We don't. I don't. You feel me? Who does? If I'm at a family event, you think I'm going to have my mask on? But if I'm at a, if I'm at like a party where I don't know a lot of people, then I'll have my mask on. You see that? So you got to think about that. You feel me? This dude took down his mask for a split second just to smell a candle. You going crazy. Put your mask on! Like, bro, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Take your mask off. Cut off your lips. Do something with your life. Shut up. Like, <laughs> just shut up. It, it's not that deep. I get it. It's a minute. Mask must be on all the time. I don't care. Like, <laughs> When you go to a restaurant, don't you take your mask down to eat? Come on now, bro. Y'all like, y'all gotta really think about all this. When you go to the restaurant, what you do? You you pull your mask like this and eat like this? No, you keep your mask. You take your whole mask off. Sometimes you might pull it down right here to the chin, but you eat, right? Like I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When you go to a drive thru do you have your mask on? When you go when you going through the drive thru ordering food, do you have your mask on? You realize that you're still communicating with that person, right? Half of the time, these people at the restaurants don't even be having their mask on. When you go to drive thru you barely see a person with their mask on. People in the kitchen don't have their mask on. You so worry about a dude who pulled their mask down for a split second just to smell a candle. But when you go through all these other places, do they have? Do you see? Do you see people have their mask on 24 seven? Come on now. Gosh, bro. Come on, headphones. You're making me mad now, man. Gosh. This is... Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's let's hear his point of view now. Let's hear his side. Take place at a dollar store. Uh, I, I believe it's in Canada, right? And the town in Canada uh, that this is in um, has a mass mandate, right? right? So I just want people to understand that uh, with proper context. Now, um, here's the thing. Uh, at some point, right, I, you would think that common sense would kick in in a situation like this, right? Because the guy starts, you know, the video and it seems like he had already gotten into some type of, you know, altercation or confrontation with, uh, employees in the store in regards to, uh, him wearing a mask. And, um, since he started out the video with him, like right in front of the candles, I'm going to assume that he really only took down his mask to, smell the candles right i'm assuming that's what he was he was doing right and it is like kind of weird and creepy that you have employees in a store that are playing mass police so hard that exactly and you know another thing i want to say before we finish this uh, point of view bro you gotta watch how you talk to people you feel me because one day you go talk to the wrong person and they just go spaz off you you feel me like he could have been like he actually handled that situation pretty calm you know what I'm saying? Now let him would have said that to a random person. You know, like, I know that was a random person, but let's let him would have said that to like somebody with anger issues or something. You feel me? It wouldn't be no, <laughs> it wouldn't be none of that. You feel me? He probably got swung off. Police probably would have been called. Like you gotta watch how you talk to people. I understand that you working or whatever, whatever the case is, but still, people are human. 
They human just like you. You talk to another grown man like that, and I guarantee you talk to any other grown man like that. It ain't going to be as sweet as this one was. That He was sparing you. Let you would have talked to some rent, like some some mad dude one day. Some dude who just got out of a relationship or something. And you said something like, bro, he would have, man. You better start picking out your casting after that. When you pull it down just to smell a candle, right? You're pulling it down for an obvious reason. Um, You have people yelling at you from across the store to pull your mask up. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely insane to think about, right? It's insane. You can't smell a candle, a candle that they're selling in uh, a dollar store, right? When you're trying to purchase something, <laughs> you're yeah. thinking about purchasing, purchasing some item, okay? Uh, like a candle, <laughs> some soap, <laughs> lotion, deodorant, things that have smell to it, air fresheners, right? Uh, usually people smell those things before they make a purchase, right? And it, it probably be more difficult to get a sense of what it actually smells like when you have a mask on. So you think that, you know, hey, uh, if he's pulling down his mask simply for that reason, then you would think they would make an exception <laughs> to understand that this man is trying to make a purchase decision, trying to, you know, give them some money, <laughs> right? Um, and not get all butt hurt about it. And I can tell you that they were very nitpicky about it because even when the dude pulled down a mask uh, under his nose, slightly under his nose, they were screaming and yelling, right? They had a problem with it. It's just sad. It really is. It's sad just how divided uh, our society has become and, you know, how it's been forced on us by uh, the government, right? Because this is forced by the government. And, and in my opinion, uh, these businesses probably feel the need to enforce these policies strictly because they might get fined, right? If somebody comes into the store and this guy's not wearing his mask, right? he's smelling some candles, they might get fined. Who knows? Okay, I mean, Canada is definitely much more authoritarian than the U.S., uh, even though we're pretty authoritarian. We're getting there, but they're definitely uh, <laughs> way far going than we are. Uh, yeah, there could be some serious fines and penalties for this store doing that. And, you know, the but, you know, at the same time, y'all, I don't I, I don't care if it's a mandate or not. You feel me? If I'm trying to smell something, I'm going to pull down my mask just for a slight second. It's not like I'm. It's not like I'm coming in the store without the mask. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want to smell this candle, I'm gonna pull down my mask just for, just, just, and then pull it back up. It, that's it. It's simple. I'm not spreading nothing. I'm not doing nothing. And then you, I, like I said, you also got to think about what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? What are you doing to keep yourself safe? I understand you in the business. You work. You know it's a mandate in your store. But at the same time, are you wearing your mask around other people? Don't you pull down your mask in certain stores to smell a candle? Would you? You got to you gotta look at it from your point of view. Would you keep your mask on to smell a freaking candle? Would you? Would Would you do that? <laughs> like, my God. You know what I'm saying? So, look. Uh, that's the end of the video, man. Uh, I really, like, I literally don't sit through the entire video at all because I just feel like the point of views that he have, I'm basically saying the same thing. Y'all just hearing it from his perspective. It, it's just like, that's why I said this is probably going to be my last time actually reacting to Black Assertive Perspective for a minute. I might react to him in the future, but this is really just going to be the last time for a minute. Um, simply because, like I said, bro, I, I do the same thing that he do. You know what I said? We talk about certain topics, and, you know, I don't want people to feel like I'm being like him or, you feel me? I just don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Because he do have a big fan base. I don't want people thinking I'm being like him. You feel me? So, yeah, this is probably my last time react to him, man. But shout out to Black Conservative's uh, perspective, bro. You got a lot of good point of views. Like, no kizzy. You got a lot of good point of views, bro. And I, that's why I like your channel, bro. And I'm already subscribed to it. I'm already subscribed with post notifications on. So, yeah, you feel me? But anyways, man, it's been your boy, The Pan. I love every last one of y'all, man. Uh, enjoy y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all day, bro. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Being your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. I love y'all. Peace.